Balaton is the largest lake in Central Europe and one of Hungary's four most touristic destinations. In the course of a popular annual bicycle race, a little over four and a half hours is sufficient to circle its 200-kilometer-long shoreline. Nevertheless, we truly believe that one should spend at least a week to discover this scenic and culturally diverse region. The deservedly popular town of Balaton Fjord was chosen as the starting point of our tour, which, thanks to the many prominent sport events, such as the Open Air Swimming World Championships and the European Sailing Crown in several boat divisions, has seen enormous developments in recent years. Balaton Fjord is an ideal destination for those who would like to combine cycling with water sports. For example, Getting a great bike workout in the pleasant morning sunshine on the hills overlooking Balaton. Then the midday is a perfect time to go for a refreshing swim in the calm waters. Finally, finishing off the day with an unforgettable sailing experience at sunset. On the first day of this cycling study tour, the morning ride involves visiting the nearby Tihang. The first few kilometers of the coastline serve as a good warm-up. Once reaching the peninsula means it's time for the real workout. The historic town is located on a scenic peak with a rather steep climb from the ferry docks up to the Benedictine Abbey. In addition to the rich historical heritage of the town, the visitor can enjoy an unforgettable, all-encompassing panorama of Balaton, rightly noting that the abbots had a knack for choosing a picture-perfect location for their monastery. We continue our journey by visiting the other famous landmark of the Tihang Peninsula, the lavender fields. And if we are there, we should not miss its lavender and lemon-flavored ice cream specialty. The well-deserved rest stop is followed by a gentle roll towards the center of the Cape, gathering the necessary energy to conquer the surrounding hillside. As we head up to Vasoy, we switch to a lower and lower gear. But once we reach this hospitable village, the pond named after St. Jacob provides a welcome refreshment. According to popular belief, the cool water from its well possesses healing properties, so we take our shoes off and dip our tired legs in its magically cool water. Our rejuvenated legs now have the task of coping with the hilly terrain ahead as we pedal through the village of Dorgache, Menche, and Verestu in the direction of Balaton Seluge. The settlement's name denotes renowned vineyards located on these hills nourished by the rich volcanic soil. From here, we have nothing but a rolling descent back to Balaton Fjord, where the giant trees on the lakeside provide ample shade to offset the midday heat. This cozy resort town serves as the second leg of the day's triathlon as we sail on board of one of the fastest yachts in the annual Blue Ribbon Competition, the most popular sailboat race in Hungary. Captain Peter quickly briefed us about the essential rules of sailing. All his orders must be obeyed out on the open water, and we should take care of our valuables, as the lake tends to absorb foreign objects. We try to act accordingly, and in the process, the group also learns the basic concepts of sailing. We have a chance to experience how the wind propels the race boat to hair-raising speeds, watching the boom move over our heads as the sailboat swiftly changes direction. Since the Balaton region is presently experiencing a summer heat wave, we have a strong inclination to dive straight into the water. The captain anchors the yacht in the middle of the lake to satisfy the irresistible desire to plunge in the cool aqua, realizing that this experience is far superior to the usual swim on the beach. Hours pass as we absorb this phenomenal sailing adventure, and the sun starts to drift towards the very hills where we were riding in the morning. Balaton shows us another of its ever-changing face as the sun finally sets in a dark red arc over its magical water. The following day, we continue our bike adventures by setting out from Balaton Fjord, Tihang, in an eastern direction. Our final destination is Balaton Sarso, located on the southern shore of the lake, opposite the Tihang Peninsula. It would be possible to simply pedal along the cycling route that circles the lakeside. Instead, we head up into the hills towards Orach, visiting the charming villages of Poloznak and Lovash, while enjoying a magnificent panorama over the lake. We return to the shoreline at Alshoresh, 
the locals immediately noticed significant improvements in infrastructure around Fuzfa, as the once broken pavement causing much grief to the cyclists recently gave way to smooth tarmac, accompanied by a newly constructed bridge along this part of the Balaton cycle route. We could have stopped at dozens of scenic locations during our journey, enfolding the east end of Balaton. But as the distance to Ferdivar is not inconsiderable, we have to keep a tight schedule. If we have to name the most beautiful view we experienced, it surely is the one from Balaton Vilagos. So the group decides to take a rest stop on top of the high shoreline, which soars almost directly above the water. From here, we have a chance to admire the great length of the lake, realizing why many like to call Balaton the Hungarian Sea. Then the group of cyclists heads towards Sihofok, often referred to as the capital of Lake Balaton. As we approach the busy resort, we are reassured about an old local saying. This enormous lake often sees unexpected weather changes. A few minutes ago, we were taking photos in full sunshine. Now we see menacing dark clouds gathered from the west. We have no choice but to take an unplanned rest stop in a local restaurant, which gives us the possibility to savor some local specialties while discussing our experiences during the first two days of the study tour. Fortunately, there is not much distance to pedal to reach Sarzo, so we take our time in hope of more favorable weather. Our wishes are heard by the weather gods, and the water from the downpour begins to evaporate from the tarmac. The ride the following day follows a predominantly flat route, with the exception of the steep ramp up to the spherical-shaped lookout tower in Bolotombogad. Since its reconstruction a few years back, it turned into one of the hallmarks of Balaton, its popularity further augmented by the adventure park established nearby. The last part of the climb up to the tower is a bona fide mountain bike trail, but the view from the spherical structure over the lake and the pine forest underneath well compensates for all the effort and hardship. Once we reach the bottom of the hill, we are off to Zalakorosh, a resort town famous for its thermal spa it is located in the small Balaton region, a natural, undisturbed sister of the iconic lake. This area not only offers unusually quiet roads and a more rolling terrain, but also the surprising sight of buffaloes bathing in the mud. The atmosphere of Kish Balaton, as Hungarians refer to this region, astonishes our group. Before traversing the dike separating the ancient lake, we visit a bewildering wooden building designed by one of the most prominent architects of the nation, Irmira Markovets. It serves as a tourist center. Inside, a photo exhibition teaches us about the seven wonders of the Zela region. As we quickly realize during this leg of the cycling journey, the number is far more than seven. Later in the day, we are invited to the cottage of Uncle Bela in Zalzabar. His wife's renowned stuffed paprika and pork stew with dumpling dishes were the biggest hit among the foreign cyclists, rivaling the unforgettable Balaton sailing experience at sunset. While we were enjoying these excellent homemade food specialties, the group was treated to a beautiful panorama encompassing the Kish Balaton and its more famous counterpart, the so-called Witness Volcanic Peaks, the bed of mountains around Keste and we could even spot the Shomoj Hills quite a distance away. Captivated by the authentic location and its surroundings, the guests were reluctant to leave, wishing that the experience would last forever. Nevertheless, we eventually had to set off, thanked our kind hosts, heading toward the thermal waters of Zalakorosh, where we would be treated to a refreshing wellness program. Next day, we continue our cycling journey around the lake by visiting the region's other famous spa in Hiris. Once again, we take an alternate route along the quiet and somewhat hilly roads of the Zala region instead of the busy main road. There is a special atmosphere in such a natural surrounding in late summer, making the Zala region an ideal location for a relaxing bike ride. Even taking the scenic detour, we arrive in Hiris midday. So after checking into our rooms, we decide to head out to the nearby Shumeg Castle. The roads around the Keste Hills are steeper than in the Zala region, lined by trees all the way up to the famous medieval fortress. 
A rather interesting sight along this route is the Buddhist stupa in the Zala Santo. As we arrived in Shumeg, we followed the ancient road covered with freestone. Once everybody managed to conquer the rather unusual road surface leading up to the castle, the group enjoys the fabulous panorama overlooking the basin and the unexpected encounter with the donkeys that reside at the old castle. The following day's program starts in the world-famous Thermal Lake, the largest of its kind in Europe. The morning hours are the best time to enjoy the Heeri's spa experience in summertime, offering a soothing balminess in the coolest part of the day. The microclimate of the lake is unparalleled. On the other hand, it makes you rather drowsy, especially following the copious servings of food we enjoyed at a nearby restaurant. After such a relaxing program, it's not easy to suddenly jump onto the saddle and cover the 65-kilometer, 35-mile distance planned for the afternoon. Fortunately, the road is sheltered by tall trees, forming an arch over the cyclist. In Zala Santo, we visit the gingerbread house, where the guests are fittingly greeted by a scarecrow witch. There is no reason to be frightened since the owner is quite friendly, telling us the history of making finely crafted gingerbread. Indeed, we wouldn't have thought that once, presents made from gingerbread by the artisans were more valuable than gold. As we pass the 13th century castle of Rizi, we turn left and face some long and steep road gradients up into the hill. Once again, we enjoy a matchless view of the landscape. The scenery is worth every pedal stroke we endure. After Leshenseto Moy, we take the frequented main road back to the lake shore, enjoying the full panorama of the Balaton. We can discern the castle of Sigliget, with the volcanic witness peaks of the Badenchoing serving as the background. We take our rest stop at the lookout tower of Balatondrayrek, then descending to the cycle path which encircles the lake. This leg of the journey offers a slow-paced cool-down ride into Keste, the regional center of West Balaton. We treat ourselves to some ice cream in the town center and take some pictures of the swans and ducks who reside in the lake. Our starting point in Hiris is now just a few kilometers from here, where there is a special program waiting for us in the evening the essential wine tasting in one of the most famous local vineyards. There is no better way to spend an easy summer night than enjoying tasty food with some really fine wine. On the last day of our bicycle tour, we take the road along the north shore of Balaton in the direction of Siegliget, where we have a chance to relax in some comfy garden chairs, sipping refreshing lemonade. We need to prepare ourselves for the Kali Basin, where we first ride through some rather picturesque villages, then climb up to the partly quarried cone of the basalt volcano in a place called Hegeshtu. Once serving as a mine, now a breathtaking sight and a lookout point. The visitors can take part in a geological time travel, but for some of the riders, traveling up the steep road certainly took some time. Naturally, we all enjoyed the downhill section of the road back to the lake shore, continuing our journey along the Balaton cycle path. Passing through Asurfe, we find a snack bar with plenty of shade where we have the opportunity to taste some fish freshly caught from the lake. From here, we head toward the Tihang Peninsula, where we began our journey around Lake Balaton six days ago. So we have now encircled the Hungarian Sea while taking part in many interesting activities offered by the Balaton region. For some, it was the first time on board of a sailboat. Others have yet to taste the world-famous wines of Badesson or plunge into a steamy thermal water of a natural pond. At the end of this unforgettable journey, nobody failed to recall the homemade dishes at Uncle Bela's cottage with the breathtaking view of the landscape below. I'm very grateful for the invitation. This has been a very busy week with so much experience. I have never ridden around Lake Balaton, whose landscape and the people made a great impression in my memory. The cuisine of the region is also fantastic, so I unreservedly recommend a visit to Lake Balaton, especially traveling on a bicycle. 
Uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for the invitation and also for bringing together such a fine bunch of journalists who have almost become a family in the course of the past week. For me, the highlight of this study was the sailing experience, especially with the fantastic opportunity to swim in the middle of the lake. We also tasted some fine wines and food specialties as well as experiencing local culture. Though the Balaton region can be discovered by other means of transport than a bicycle, the recent infrastructure improvements make the bike ideal for linking up the sites we visited, such as the thermal spas. I agree with the organizers that minimum a week is needed for the visitor to get a glimpse of what the Balaton region has to offer. It was an interesting journey coming from North Yorkshire, which in England is regarded as the cycling capital of the country and to a large extent one of the greatest cycling areas in, in the world. Coming to Hungary was unique, I didn't know anything about it. Uh, so arriving off the plane, the first thing that hit me was the weather, absolutely fantastic. And the roads, which are in superb condition, smooth tarmac, long, wide, winding, uh, and the hotels are absolutely superb. You could drop them down into any place in the world. We rode between 60 to 90 kilometers every day with a tempo that was completely suitable for my abilities. I would rate this cycling tour intermediate in difficulty. The landscape was truly astonishing. We visited many beautiful places, villages and castles. As gastronomy is close to my heart, so I was happy to taste the local cuisine, also enjoying the wines that go along with the fine food the region has to offer. One of my favorite places was the fish buffet at the lakeshore. Concerning the scenery, Balaton is indeed a small sea. It's certainly a place where I would certainly love to reside. Last year, the Hungarian Tourism Agency embraced the goal to introduce cycling study tours for journalists in order to spotlight the excellent touristic destinations Hungary has to offer. Among the program's main objectives is to attract foreign bike riders, starting with the eight-day event titled The Land of Spas and Wine, followed by a study tour introducing the Zalagarosh in Nadkanizia region last June. The most recent event took place at the Balaton region in August 2017. First and foremost, I'd like to thank the organizers for the opportunity to take part in this event. The development of tourism by bicycle is very close to my heart, which is also a main objective for the present administration. This is not the first time I had a chance to meet with foreign journalists whose published narratives describing our wonderful landscapes and natural wonders helped to make discovering Hungary by bike more and more popular. Not so long ago, another such event has taken place in the Marafelda, a hidden corner of the Zala County. The study tour was also meant to call attention to the possibilities of active tourism in the Balaton region. In the meantime, our government is making great strides to improve the cycling infrastructure, building roads for bicycles in order to propagate this form of tourism. Pedaling the newly constructed scenic roads will provide more opportunities for visitors to discover the regions. So I wholeheartedly recommend to all Hungarians and foreign guests to see beyond the landmarks in the towns and venture by bike into the countryside in order to experience fully the wonderful landscape and atmosphere. Tourism on bicycle is a great success in the neighboring Austria and Slovenia, and now it's up to Hungary to follow in their footsteps. The essence of these cycling study tours, like the present one around Lake Balaton, serves this very purpose. We welcome prominent foreign journalists whose articles will convince the public that cycling is one of the most efficient and certainly an enjoyable way to get to know the landscape, the people, and the culture. Their writings will hopefully draw attention to these touristic destinations, luring more and more visitors to choose an active cycling adventure in these great places.